I'll show you how to use the Select Mogurt tab. In here is a large preview panel that auto plays the Mogurt preview or shows a thumbnail. We can resize this preview section or hide it completely. We can select a Mogurt by clicking on the tile in the panel, or we can hit Select File and browse to a Mogurt anywhere on our computer. This hyperlink updates based on the file we have selected. Clicking on it opens up the Finder or Windows Explorer to the location of our file. To change the Mogurts that are appearing in these tiles, come down to the settings. Under Available Folders, these are the folders that Captioneer is searching. If we add new Mogurts to one of our selected folders, we can hit this Refresh button and the tile will show up. You can add or remove any folder you like for Captioneer to process. I'll add this folder that comes with some default Adobe Sports Mogurts. You have these exact same Mogurts on your machine, and you can follow along to see how this works. After adding that folder, Captioneer will auto-import all the Mogurts inside of it, and we can remove any other folders because we'll just work with this one for now. The Select Mogurt tab is now showing just the Sports folder. Let's select a Mogurt and add it to the timeline. I'll select Track 2 and then hit Add. We can scrub through and see they're inserted properly. Inside the Select Mogurt tab is another button called Set from the Timeline. It's used for copying and inserting Mogurts into the timeline. I'll make some changes to the Essential Graphics Panel properties for this Mogurt and then hit Set from Timeline. When you use Set from Timeline, the hyperlink updates to end in .ae graphic. We can come down to Create. Let's select Add to a new track. I'll turn off the default captions track and disable the clips on track 2. Now we don't see any of those. In Captioneer, I'll hit Add Mogurts. And that Mogurt, with our custom changes, is inserted onto track 3. As I get to the top, I'm going to seriously fucking squeeze as if I'm trying to rip my biceps off. Or no, no, not really rip them off. Maybe pop them? Is that what I'm thinking of? Either way, squeeze really hard, back down nice and slow. All right, that sort of thing. And that's how the Select Mogurt tab works. Next, I'll show you the Text Input tab.